So let's go. Uh, welcome to Better Yourself Podcast, your boy Frank Rice. And today I got a special guest. He's somebody I really wanted to get hold on. You know, I, I try so hard, but you know, and today we have him. His name is Dimitri Reeves. And he's actually from Baltimore, if, I, if I'm actually right. Yeah, all the way from... Uh, from St. Mary's County, Maryland. But I, my second home is Baltimore. Oh yeah, that's it. United States, let's just say it that way, right? So he's actually... He's, he's, um, He's actually uh, he's a singer, he's an entertainer, he, like, he danced a lot and he's always on the street dancing and he's a, very, he's a genius. He always talks about positive stuff, trying to help people to heal themselves, to better themselves. He loves James Brown, he loves Mike Jackson, he loves everything that's great. So yeah, so welcome to Better Self uh, Reeves. So today we're just going to talk about, you're just going to be all about you, but before we start... Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I wanted to make sure I just wanted to put you in the mood because I know like you are you are a person that you love being positive, anything. So I'm actually from England. So just so you know, you have a lot of people that actually know you. So people watch you around the world. It's not just in America. I'm actually from England. I never been to America, but just so you really? know. Yes. So. This is the story, like, when I first, the way I knew you, I didn't know you because of what happened in, you know, during the, um, the what do you call it, when he was in the police outside, you know, it was, in, it was all over the news. I didn't know you because right. of that. I was on YouTube, I was watching a lot of videos because I love Michael Jackson. And I found uh, one of your videos, and he was dancing. I was like, man, there's something about this guy. Like, it wasn't anything to do with Michael Jackson. It wasn't one of your songs. And the video, oh, I, oh. Could, I could tell when somebody's influenced by MJ or... Oh, or what do you call it? Or James Brown or anything. I was like, this guy have to love Michael Jackson. You know what? I'm going to have to do some research about him. And to find right. out, I went to your YouTube channel and you just like discovered a person. And I was like, yo, man, I was posting your video, asking people on my Facebook to actually watch your stuff and, you know, things like that. And after that, you just start blowing up. And I saw you, you went to, you know, you went on TV, Russian Today, and you went everywhere. And everybody started treating you. I'm like, yo, I don't need this nigga before, like, you know. <laughs> that's actually the story so yo before we start just introduce yourself you know just tell me who you are so people can know more all right so my name is Dimitri Reed. i'm the greatest of all time and you are yeah. too Five thank you people man thank you wake up, wake up and realize that everything is just a social uh a social let's say weight yeah because everybody's trying to live up to a standard that the people came with whoever came before you there's people that came before you that said, you should live this way. You need to be this way. So you're like, okay, I need to be that way. But we are really limitless. Be what you want to be. Act how you want to act. That's why I say when you look, when you look this good. <laughs> people, I had somebody tell me one time, uh, I don't like the way you dress. I don't like the way you wear your hair. I don't like the way. People will say that because it's the way they were raised. Because when they were younger, their parents said that to them. So they're going to grow up. And what, is, what you do to others is going to come right back around. So that's why I say whatever you put out will come right back to you. Yeah, man. Before so I, don't have, I, I get it, man. Before I start, I just want to say uh, uh, my condolences about your loss because I saw, you know, like you lost your manager. If I if I can actually oh, yeah. remember that. Yeah. So, yeah. So let's start from the start. So actually, tell me about you. Like, where did you start? Like, your story. So I started like, in my living room. I, well, I started when I was I was dancing ever since I was five. I was dancing. Uh, I love Michael Jackson, but I got away from Michael Jackson. I got into Usher. Oh, yeah. I always danced. I, I was always entertainer. I was always in school at eight a.m. I was yeah. always the loudest person in the bunch in school yelling. Everybody was like, oh, that's Dimitri. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's Dimitri. I was a class yeah. clown. So um, huh. I was doing that because I wanted to see people smile because I didn't know what people were going through. So I knew that, yeah. okay, I want to see somebody smile. A teacher came up to me and said, Dimitri, you know they're laughing at you, not with you, right? I said, as long as they're laughing. Yeah, yeah. It makes you know sense. what I'm saying? Yeah. So after that, um, I met, I, a military guy came to me and said, join the military. I didn't want to join the military. My man, uh, my man, my late manager he came to uh came to me at a gig and then uh my cd skipped he said it wasn't his sound system then he told me when was after he signed me he's like yeah it was my sound system i'm sorry but um he uh he moved me in with him long story short as we started doing shows on the street i told him people are gonna think i'm on crack they're gonna think i'm on drugs doing it on the street corner i want the lights and the stage he taught me that it's all a facade it's all a facade wow. it's just that it's what you are the show <laughs> How old was you that like, time when you start, first started dancing on the street? 16. 16. Oh, no, 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 16. I'm sorry, 16. I'm lying. I'm lying. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, um, I think I was 19 years old, 19 or 20. 
he told oh, me to go out, go on the street because oh, okay. I didn't right, and he taught me how to fish. It's like going on the street and perform. And when we perform on the street, doing the street is really hard. Why is yeah. it really hard? I'll tell you why it's really hard because you have to get people to stay. People are going places, and yeah. they have. To, if you stop people on the street, oh my gosh, that's. I mean, that they're going somewhere. They're not just, they didn't buy, if you buy a ticket to a show, you have to sit there. You have to stay there. You have, you know, you don't want to waste 20, like if I get up, I wasted $20. So I'm going to sit through the yeah. show whether it sucks or not. You know what I'm saying? Well, that, that was very tough, right? Like when you first started, you was, you was just on your own, right? Dancing. You was about Usher or about Michael Jackson? What was it? Michael Jackson. I, I, was, my, I was Usher. I was about Usher. I was trying to get the girls. Oh, <laughs> yes, was, yes. I was, yeah. uh, I was on Let It Burn and, and, and uh, Confessions. And, you um, wasn't recording that time, right? I don't think it, that, that time. No, was I wasn't recording. Oh, no, yeah. no, I wasn't recording uh, when I was doing Usher. I got older and I did, uh, I started doing Michael Jackson because Michael Jackson passed away, remember? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, 20, well, of course, who can forget 20, that? Yeah. Yeah, and he passed away. Once he passed away, I felt like, damn, we lost, um, we lost, like, it, all my memories flooded back about how much I, I love, like, oh, he was really like, Michael Jackson was amazing. Yeah. So I went to, I went downstairs, started practicing. I put my ROTC suit on and started doing, they don't really care about us. I started doing, uh, the way you make me feel, my favorite, yeah. um, you know, and stuff like that. So through the years, I started doing that. Yeah. that um, Michael Jackson it was, it had a huge impact on me. And then I, I was like, I don't want to be known just as Michael Jackson. So my manager said, learn how to sing. Yeah. So then I started doing Elvis, James Brown, yeah. Prince. I study the greats to become greater. That's what it's all about. Yo, man, like about James Brown, I always feel like you got something in you because... Every time I see you, I mean, I'm not saying you, James Brown. You are yourself. Yeah, you, know, you are yourself, <laughs> just to make it clear. Right? Yeah, I know what you mean. So I know you want to stand you are yourself and everything, but like you remind me a yeah. lot of James. You know, like Michael Jackson when he was young, when people would see Michael Jackson, he used to remind yeah. them of James Brown because the energy, because you have that, you have that energy and it's just like there's something about you that you have that groove, you know. It's not everybody that has it. Same people that learn how to be that person, but you have in you, you don't have to try that hard. Even when you talk about Michael Thank Jackson, you. the way you dance, when you dance on the street, to trust me, like, it, I can tell, like, you don't, you dance with your soul, you know, like everything, the move and your energy, your face and everything, you just like, you put everything there. And that's the reason why I actually respect you and people like you, like you deserve more than you actually have right now, but you do whatever you do, you do oh, wow. with love. I really appreciate that. So, and yeah, you start Thank with Michael Jackson and what I, I mean, you, you start doing the Michael Jackson because Michael Jackson passed away. Is, am I right? Yeah, once he passed away, I uh, I said I want to either headline WrestleMania because I was really deep in wrestling. Yeah. Um, or I said I wanted to be on the BT Awards, MTV Awards, Grammys. Yeah. So once I did that, it was just I mean, I, I took off. I mean, I just once I was like, mm. Michael died. I told the universe to give me a sign. God gave me a sign, and then that he passed away. Yeah. And then after he passed away, uh, he um, I just something something inside of me woke up. And I just yeah. wanted to do that. And my passion went to that. And then also, because I was always in entertainment. And yeah, I was yeah. performing one time. I was performing You Rock My World yeah. downstairs in the, in the, in, down in the um, living room. And I yeah. swear to you, at the end of the song, I heard, I heard you know, when he goes like, uh, uh, he says something at the end. But when he's, when he's doing his ad-libbing at the end, oh. I heard, uh, I heard Dimitri. I don't care what <laughs> nobody's saying. Yeah. I heard that. I don't, but I don't care. <laughs> it's like if you see something in the corner of your eye, you tell somebody, you see that? Yeah. You're like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. You tripping. No, I know what I saw. I saw Bigfoot. They ain't going to tell me I didn't see Bigfoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but that's, that's so, so that's, that made me like, that's freaked me out a little bit. I was like, oh crap. But then I just started, you know, I just started keeping, I kept on going and then I ended up here. I don't know how I ended up here where I am now, but um, I'm thankful and, 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 yeah. and I'm, I'm grateful. But what, what was the deal about dancing on the truck? Like, what is that coming um, from? Did you start uh, dancing on the truck already? Or were just like on the street, like, you know, on the floor? On the street, my manager had a yellow truck. Yeah. He told me, do not get on the truck. Because I got yeah. on the truck. Because I, I don't know, my, my mind said, get higher. So I'm just, just, I was, when I'm dancing, I'm not paying attention. Because if I do, a, if I dance to you right now, and yeah. they say, Dimitri, do that again. I'm yeah. not going to know what you're talking about. Yeah, I get because it. Because I'm feel I'm so much in the feeling that I'm not married to one thing of just every time you see my show, it's gonna be different because I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. That's why I keep it. It keeps it fresh and new. So um, I, I just got on top of the truck and then Vaughn, you know, my manager parked way across the parking lot on purpose one time we did a show. Really? And I ran all the way across the parking lot and got on top of the truck. <laughs> he was like, he just said. You know what? Forget it. I'll, I'm, I'll build something, a stage on top of the truck so you can just dance on top of the truck. 
I said, thank you. So I got on top of there. I used to jump up like on the ledge and lift myself yeah, up. Yeah, I saw, I saw those, those videos, crazy video, man. What, what was yeah. people respond like? Huh? What was people respond? People oh, respond man, their the response, street, yeah. they, they, were, they were like, what the? They didn't know what was going on. We had 18 cops in a helicopter pull up on us. <laughs> the number really? changes every time because it was it was a lot of cops, but I, it, it was just a lot of cops. It was like, uh, it, it had to be 18. I don't know. It was like a 15, 18, something like that, but it was like a lot of cops. Like if, if you saw a SWAT team do a bus on drugs, yeah, that's what it looked like. And they were like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> but like coming back like from home, actually, what was the part? I don't know. Like the way you grew up, like you was living with your mom that time or, you know, like no, direction. Mom, did it, yeah. I, I was living uh, at that time where I was doing it on the street. Yeah, I was living with my manager at that you time. Your manager, my manager yeah. was, uh, yeah, he, he moved me. He just moved me in with him. Oh, so you I moved your actually. You was more like free and doing your things, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he told me to come move with him, and then I just he told me I'll take care of everything. Just come do your thing because you are a star and you have what it takes. You have the drive, you have the determination, you have everything. You know everything that you have. It. He's always telling me you have it. You have it. All right, so if I go back to what happened, like, because I think people actually, many people knew after that. But I mean, same people knew before on YouTube because of what you was doing. And it was actually that people actually discover you when, uh, I think it was like a big, uh, I remember what happened, like, it was in America. It was like a big rally happened. Bec oh, because of, there was somebody actually got killed. There was a protest everywhere. And you was yeah. actually dancing on the street. The police was there. And then that, yep. I mean, that video just went viral everywhere. It was like on the Russian TV, on UK TV. It was like, it was everywhere. So I'm always, yeah. I mean, the day I saw, I was so happy. I'm like, oh my God, he's actually there. This guy, no, this guy, like, you know. So like, <laughs> like go back to that day. Like what happened? Like what was in your mind? Like what make you go out there and do that? Because people uh -oh. weren't allowed to, to, I mean, to do that because there was a protest and there was the fact you're actually black as well and being on the street at that time. Yeah. Um, so what, let's see. We were getting my teeth done. Yeah. Uh, when we got my teeth done. Uh, when we get my teeth done, um, in the middle of it, I got up out of the seat. We looked on CNN, saw the spot where I always perform out on the street corner. Yeah. We saw that. Uh, we said, oh, my manager looked at me and said, you think what I'm thinking? I'm like, yeah. We got, on the, we got in the truck. We got a system, sound system. We went down to the spot. We yeah. started performing. And when we started performing, something happened. Uh, the protesters had a great time. They came, came down. They were cheering and yelling like, yeah. Um, the, the, everybody, all the gang members came and danced with me on some criminal. It was pretty cool. Uh, wow. it was a great, a great, a great experience. Great well, you, experience. Cause you didn't knew it was going to go that crazy, right? Like, you know, you no, knew it was going to go viral. No. People was going to call they, you and everything. They, they went down the street and burned down CVS afterwards, but that's, I, that, I, that's not on me. That's on me. Yeah. I was just, you know, and with, where I was at, they were peaceful. Um, then the yeah. SWAT team started coming down the street and beat it was playing. So I went in the middle and I said, let me get a little close, not too close. But let yeah. me get close enough where somebody could take a picture or a video of this and it, it sends a message. Because it reminded me of that guy who stood in front of the um, tank with the uh, grocery bags. Yeah. Uh, if you, it was like, I think it was, it was a Chinese or Asian guy that stood in front of a, a truck, Vietnamese or something. Uh, he was standing in front of the tank when the tank was trying to go. And it was like, he was just one small man. The tank was like trying to go to get past the man, but it was like kept on going around. So I wanted to tell, you know, I was just perform my heart out and, and just saying, hey, you know, everybody's chill right here. Just and they started backing up and they moved on. Like that's crazy. It, it's like they didn't know how to how do you how do you fight a dance a man who's dancing? Yeah, yeah. You can't <laughs> do that. You know, that's you, know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So and yeah, yeah. you was quite surprised you wake up in the morning, you was all over the news, you was there and people was talking about you and everything. And then in your city, they was kind of proud of you as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, some people weren't. Some people weren't because they wanted it to be a message of, of we're tired of this, we're sick of this. But um, the people that weren't happy about it, um, I, I, you know, I, I told them, somebody said, I, I was, you made us like a fool. I said, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. If you fight fire with fire, you can get more fire. That's not even rocket science. So it's like, okay, well, um, if I change my way, if I change myself from within, and, and if I'm, I'm peaceful, and that's just my belief, then peace shall come. You have to change yeah. within, then without will change. You can't try to change without, and you haven't changed within. You can't be, you know, it's like you have to, you have to, love always wins, put it that way. Yeah. But did you, did you, did that change actually the way, did that change something in you after that journey? Um, what changed about me was I, I discovered myself in a way that I haven't before. Yeah. I, uh, I started thinking. 
because I told in the interview, I don't know if you've seen, uh, if you saw it, um, I said, you know, just think uh, when a Russian newscast, uh, well, she's the lady said, uh, what do you, what do you have some, you know, what would you say to everybody? I would say, just, just think, just think. People don't think. They, they just, they just do. You have to yeah. think, you know what I mean? You ever, you ever, you ever have something on your, on your Facebook page and then somebody says something ignorant, yeah, but, yeah. but you're like, they, they don't realize what they're saying. They're just, everybody's trying to be a comedian and be funny and get likes. It's all about likes now. Yeah. So I don't care how much I hurt your feelings or how much I look, how stupid I look. As long as I'm getting likes or loves, which is a facade. Yeah. Tell them to give you a kid. You know, we'll see how much they like or love you. <laughs> yeah, true. I get it, man. So, and yeah, then, yeah I mean, th that happened actually in your life. And the thing is, I think the problem that you have that time, because people used to, man, trying to compare your personality to Michael Jackson. I think a lot of people that do, like you actually dance Michael Jackson music. And like you said, when I see you, I see somebody actually, you've been inspired by Michael Jackson, James Ryan, and all those people. But at the same time, you want to be yourself. You want people to remember you as, as you, as Dimitri. So, Correct. So does it kind of affect you in that sense as well? Oh, the does what affect me? Like in, in terms of like your identity, like, you know. No, no. I'm, I'm, the five people I'm, like I'm the Michael positive. Jackson guy, the Michael Jackson guy. Oh, yeah. Well, well, I wish they would have said Dimitri Reeves, the protester, instead of Michael Jackson protester. But I am positivity and I am love. Therefore, I'm infinite and I'm forever. So nothing will ever affect my identity. But I do say this. I do, the world knows my name and they will know my name. If they haven't, they do, they do now. My name is Dimitri Reeves. And yeah. that's who I am. I'm not trying to take anybody's spot. There's somebody who's going to be worse than Michael Jackson, Prince Elvis, James Brown, all of them. There's somebody who's yeah. going to be better than them. There's somebody going to be, you know, nobody's going to take their spot because they've already existed. That's impossible to do. All right, I see that. So in terms of your goal like, as an artist, what do you want to be? What do you, what, is, what do you want to reach in terms of uh, as an artist, as a person, as, as somebody want to give something? Take over the world. You take it yeah. over and make it a better place by teaching people to look within instead of without. To wake people up. There's a lot of people asleep right now. Yeah, because I see like, um, I mean, I'm going a little bit fast. I, I see like your journey when you went to LA. I think it was in LA, right? When you went to LA? Or it was, mm -hmm. yeah, you went to LA and you was, you try, you, you actually gave it a try and then it didn't, it didn't go the way you actually thought it was and you actually come back to where everything started. So yeah, what was actually uh, the plan? Las, I went to Las Vegas. Las Vegas, yes, Las Vegas, yes. Yeah. So, so yeah. I, I went to I went to Las Vegas. Um, Las Vegas was a great experience. Yeah. I say this. People, um, you will end up where you're supposed to be. Yeah. And that is a real thing. Um, my journey's not over. It's it's not about how hard you get hit. It's about how hard you get hit and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. A yeah. lot of people give up or they feel like, well, that wasn't for me. No, it's not that it wasn't for you. Just keep going. Keep moving forward. Don't give up. A lot of people are going to judge you regardless you make it or not. So a lot of people are scared. They're, 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 they're how do you say it? They, they, wanna, they don't want to be talked about. Yeah. Like, yo, you know, you know Johnny across the street? He went, he went out for a new job interview and he didn't make it. Oh, man. Well, oh, okay, that's just life happens. No, you keep on going. For, if you want that position, keep going for it. Because you will get it. You have it. You will. If you keep on, the lucky ones are the ones who didn't give up. Yeah, but sometimes as well, it's good to you to try. If it doesn't work, it just change and start something different. Same no, people, they actually, I mean, not really start something different, but like just take it as a, something that you have learned and then part of your journey and then of, go to the next stage. Of course. Uh, it would be a sad case if I, if I went there and then I gave up everything. If I said, oh, well, it wasn't for me, and I went into, uh, nothing wrong with this, but if I went into BJ's at the grocery store and start, you know, just clocked in. Now that, I would want you to be having this conversation with me. Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. This, this, this put me on a different path, a different journey. It's like, okay, I, I've, seen, I've seen the stage. I've seen the, okay, this is what it's all about. Oh, okay, well, I want the world. I don't want just the stage in Las Vegas. I don't want just, I want it, I'm taking, a, I'm going to take over the world. That is what's going to happen. Whether anybody likes it or not, it's going to happen. And it's going to come through fruition because there's, a, there's something bigger than just going out there and moonwalking. There's yeah, a lot of people true. who have broken hearts and broken homes and getting hurt. There's a lot of people who are hurting and pain. There's so much negativity right now. That's why everybody grasps yeah. onto it. That's why our music is Definitely. sad. Yeah, I mean, I get it. So, I mean, it's a good thing that you actually, when you come back, it wasn't a shame actually to share your journey. I think when you came back, you share it to people what happened and everything as well. That's a good thing because many people don't do that. They only show success, right, right. but when something is not going the way, they don't really show, show that. So 
when you actually come back and now everything's actually changed, you become, I mean, it's not like you become somebody else. You actually change your transition. We can see the transition in terms of who you were before. And then I, I can, you can see you like, even your music thing was a bit different. And what was it about? It was more about personality. It was more outspoken more than before. It wasn't just the guy who was on like out there dancing. It was more expressing yourself and saying things. So what was yeah. the reason behind? Because what, because, uh, When you look this good, yeah. I like God damn it. Now when I when I say this, yeah. I came back from Las Vegas. I felt I felt heartbroken. I felt like I failed, but I really didn't. The guy in Las Vegas said, You don't want to become an impersonator, you are close to becoming yourself, your own artist. I didn't see it. I I sat at that table and I begged him. I said, No, I, I don't want to go back because I feel like I lost. I said, I feel like I lost. He said, no, I, I, I told myself, I said, no, you didn't lose. Something happened, something clicked. I said, I need to become a character. But the, it, it wasn't a character, it was me. It was inside of me. Something inside of me was, it just, it grew, something inside of me just, just popped. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I started saying, well, you look this good. And I started becoming more, um, and I, I, I started doing that. And then I started saying, well, let me make other people feel better about themselves because I'm not going to sit here and go, when, I look, when you look this good and make people feel less than me because that's being arrogant. That's being cocky. That's yeah. being when you push others down and uplift yourself. When you uplift yourself while uplifting others, that's not arrogant and cocky. Somebody along the lines said, did, somebody along the lines didn't like how somebody was, they felt jealous and envious. They told other people, that guy's cocky, that guy's arrogant or whatever to other people because that's why people say, don't be arrogant or cocky. That's people say that. Calm, being confident is not arrogant or cocky. It's just telling you, you are the, I'm the best goddamn thing since sliced bread and you are too. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. I mean, that, that, I mean that's, that's a, good, a good way of thinking. But did you have like, how do people react to that? Like in terms of oh, people judgment? Oh, pe 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 people, some people were happy. Some people said, well, well, I name myself the God of entertainment because I can entertain you while I'm sitting here with my clothes. I can entertain you when I'm sitting down, when I'm sleeping, when I'm, when I'm taking a shit, excuse my language. I can entertain you when I'm eating. I can entertain you when I'm out on the street. I can entertain you anywhere, any place, any, any I, I, I can just entertain you. So I'm the God of entertainment. And if you want something, go reach for it, go grab it. Some people don't want to grab greatness. And then they, when you reach for it, they're like, no, you're not great. Well, you didn't grab it. I'm going to grab it. I do yeah. Prince, Elvis, Michael Jackson, James Brown. Did you did you learn how to dance like James Brown? Or you just yes, I did. Yeah. The split all. Oh, I did all of that. You can see it all in my videos. I always post it. And and that's and that's and, and through through again. People somebody told me, Dimitri, you can't label yourself the god of entertainment. Yeah. I said, Well, everybody has their own movie, their own perception. I said, and that was coming from his, his ego and his pride and stuff because he, he felt like, because everybody who gets into music, they want to be the greatest thing. But they feel like, well, that's not for me. No, you don't want to reach for it. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it, yeah. I yeah, think most people don't reach for that. So they're going to tell you that you're not that because they weren't that. If, if I've been told I'm not that, if I feel like I'm not that, you can't be that because I'm feeling that. I'm, to myself, I don't even feel that way about myself. So I'm not going to feel that way about you because you're no better than me. Well, I didn't say I was better than you. So what is the story behind? Because I know like every, every time somebody brings this kind of message, like positive message, because what you talk about is very, very, very deep. I can tell that. But I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's a story behind because everyone I see, or one of your songs, a lot of things that you've been saying, for, especially for the last maybe couple of months or whatever, you have some lyrics was a, a little bit much deeper and into like a depression as well. I think you have one of the songs where you were talking about drug and everything and sex as well. Medi Medicaid. So, Yes. I, I don't want to think, I don't want to feel, take a, down another drink um, and take another pill. Uh, all that stuff. I, used to, I, I went through depression, man. I went through uh, sleep. I went through, I've taken, I've done, uh, I've, yeah, that song. Yeah. I've, I've been, I've got, when I was 15, I got drunk and got passed yeah. out and had a catheter uh, go through my, you know what, to get my kidney to pump me out, pump it out. I was so depressed oh. because I didn't like me. I didn't love myself. I was so depressed because I felt like I didn't live up to a standard. I wasn't a, a standard. I felt like uh, everybody didn't like me, so I wanted to see everybody else smile and everybody else laugh. Yeah. You see? So that's, that's, why, that's my whole thing of just that's, – that's my everything. That's, that's my whole thing. I just – I was depressed. I was cutting myself. I, have, I think I still have the marks right here. Yeah. 
I used to cut myself and everything. I, I, I used to cut myself. I used to just try to hurt myself because if nobody likes me, then I don't like me. But what people don't understand is you got like yourself, other people like you. You show people how to treat you. Point blank, period. The funny thing is, there's two types of people. There's people that actually come from depression and then they become like great. And there's other people is the opposite. I have a friend actually spoke yesterday. He was like very confident. He was a personal trainer. He used to be on the stage and everything, being like half naked on stage with the muscle and everything. And now he told me like he wake up one, one day, he started feeling bad about himself. He stopped talking to people as well. And he just feel like, like nothing. And he's now he's struggling to go back to that person. So for someone like him, why can you tell him? Because he got around people. I know what happened to him. What happened? He got around who wasn't equally yoked who weren't equally yoked yeah. i don't mean a religious thing because a lot of that that's using a lot of religious uh yeah. or, or whatever but in the church and stuff but they weren't equally they weren't equally great yeah, yeah. They, not that they were great that it's up to their greatness he got around people people started the subconscious mind the mind's a powerful thing we study everything else but the mind then we wonder why life is going to shit or going to hell he needs to look in the mirror every day and say, I love you. You're the greatest goddamn thing since sliced bread. And if you ever talk to him, tell him I said it. And send him to me. Because yeah, he needs I, to, he I, needs I will show him, I will show him the video. I just spoke to him yesterday. Like, I'll tell him, like, if you want anything, just reach him. But he didn't know how to deal with this because he used to be somebody, he used to be somebody very confident. We, we all used to speak to people who are into depression. And I mean, who start from depression and trying to better themselves. But the opposite sometimes is quite hard. Who do you think, who do you, I'll ask you. Yeah. What do you think knocking down? I, I already know what knocking down, but let me, who, what do you think knocking down? Um, I think he just didn't know himself. He lost himself. Or right. How did you know? I think it, uh, somebody actually put him down. Somebody oh make God. him feel like he was, he was, he was, I mean, he was, he was not worth some, anything. If I had changed, and he didn't I know his worth as well. You're preaching. That's real. That's real. Because somebody did that. It was either a girl or a family member, possibly yeah. a close friend. You can't walk around here worry about what people think. Everybody has, the, again, that was their movie. He, he, he became, when he got knocked down, he became a character in somebody else's movie. That's what happened. He got out of his movie and said, okay, I have to play this role for this person. Because he told me he I don't want to talk to people as well. He don't want to be around people, but he just spend a lot of time on his own. Right, because he feels something. He feels he may feel embarrassed, may feel, uh, may feel a little like, oh God, am I? He's thinking, he's overthinking instead of just being. He's all, he's great. He's great. Don't let these, don't let peasants make peasants out of you. If you're a king, be a king. Be a king. Walk in your greatness. Don't let people. People will tell you're not a king, and guess what? Because they aren't kings. They are peasants, so they want. They don't want a king amongst them because they're like, I don't want a king. I'm. I should be king. Those are the people with the. That don't, those are the, those are the ones that are arrogant. I wish. I, what's his name? Uh, his his name. Uh, oh, no, I, don't, I don't know if you want to say his name or that. Okay, I, I I get that for confident. You know this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get. I don't want to be embarrassed. So, but so, I definitely gonna let him know. Let you know, like you know. So, yeah, show this to I, him. I'm gonna let him yeah. like reach you for real. Like he's he's right, like into something like for real. Tell him to reach me, but I'm gonna say this, okay? Yeah. Brother, get up. You are the best goddamn thing since sliced bread. Get up. Don't let these people knock you down. You are a king. You are supposed to change this world by the way, by your actions. Everything's frequency. Yeah. Get up. Yo, that's, because um, I'm not going to lie to you. There's a lot of things that you actually say, you post sometimes like, same, same thing when you post, I'm like, oh man, this guy is a bit too much. And then now, like the same thing when you post, I'm like, this is a bit too deep. I don't know why where you get it from like the, uh, the other day i did ask you like you know what where do you get all your inspiration like how do you do to express yourself that way because you somehow touch a lot of touch a lot of people and people don't maybe people don't say that to you but people do yeah. feel something i do I, I i tell you this and i thank you so much because you are great as well real quick i just want to uplift you real quick and positivity and love you are great and thank you for thank taking you, time out of, appreciate it. Out of you to interview me i really appreciate that i love you from the bottom of my heart for that because honestly you could have just sent me a text message and say keep on doing what you're doing great job and kept it yeah. moving this this really means a lot to me and i won't forget this day now i've been through cutting myself been through heartbreaks trying to find other people to love me that's where i get it from i try to find people to love me try to get people to love who i am and i finally said why do i need a girl to be a trophy for me i'm the trophy why do i need a car to be a trophy for me i'm the trophy I try to, t I t I'm not try, I teach you, but you are the best guy. You are the trophy. 
But do you believe you get a fakey before you make it? It's not fake. You're great. We're on a planet that's spinning and we're breathing. What the hell yeah. are we breathing? Oxygen. But it's normal to you because you just, that's normal. Okay. The world we, gravity, this is, a, look at those trees right there. Real quick, look at those trees. Those yeah. roots, every, we don't really take time to notice detail. We're spoiled. We are spoiled. We don't take, then when we lose a leg or a finger or something, we're like, oh man, I missed that. But you didn't miss it when it was on you. These are amazing. You can pick up things. Yeah. You, can, we, we, we don't, you don't appreciate things. You're spoiled. You're worried about the, new, the newest thing. To impress somebody that don't even like you from the get-go. Yeah. It makes sense? Yeah, do it. It makes sense, yeah. So, so that, that's why, that's why, that, that's what makes you so upset with people sometimes because they don't realize it. They're just, they, they, they're brainwashed. Everybody's trying to get the newest sneaker, the newest this, the newest that. I don't do that. I don't try to get the newest stuff. I just be who I am. Like, if you like the newest stuff, go get it. Have fun in this life, what I'm trying to say. Basically, get to the point. Have fun in this life. Don't worry about what people think or say. You're going to die one day. You're going to die one day. Yeah. You want your they didn't, they didn't like me. And they, 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 you know your life flashes before your eyes before you die? So you're gonna, you're gonna, your life is going to flash. You're going to be like, damn, I should have done a lot more. Beep. Yeah, that's really sad. Do, do, do you believe in God? I believe, I believe I am God, and I believe you are too. I believe everybody's God. God, because if you, this is why I believe that. Because if your parents made you, are you still human? Your parents are human. Aren't you human? Yeah, sure. So if God made me, then I'm God. I could, I could give the power of life. And I could give the power of death. I'm not talking about no Hollywood crap either. That's why everybody doesn't think they're God because they're looking at, you no, know, if I was God, I'd yeah, be yeah, touch true. It, blow, it would blow away and I'll be like Iron Man. And no, that's, <laughs> that's why it's called tell a vision. Yeah. It's telling a vision. They're lying to you. It, it's a tell, I want to go believe a lie. Batman. Now, with 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 training, I, Batman is is the more realistic character than Superman. Yeah. But like, to what extent? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand that. So that's why I believe we're gods. To give a, 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 a analogy to that, because most people most people will think they will say, "Oh, this guy thinks he's God. Oh, he's cocky. He's arrogant. Blah blah." No, you're God too. We're all God. You just have to accept it. We're not talking about Hollywood. We're talking about real life. You have, you could you could have a baby right now. And you could kill somebody right now. That's the power of life and death. But people don't want to, just like, just people don't want to take accountability and accept their fault. So they have to put something on somebody else. Because when we grow up, we feel like they're our parents. We have parents when we grow up, right? So our parents, and it goes into a whole whatever. I'm not going to, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. I, it, this conversation can go on for. No, it's good, man. On. Like, <laughs> it's, everything is <laughs> it's, it's something new. Like, everybody, everything you say, somebody going to relate anyway. So. I'm taking yeah. everything. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah I want to tell you, like, yeah, you, man, you, we're all gods. I'm God, you're God, and just step into your greatness, man. And don't let nobody, if you tell somebody, like, who, you, who do you think you are? I'm God, and you are too. What are they going to say? No, no, I'm not God, and you're not God either. Okay, well, you can believe that in your movie. I'm going to believe what I want to believe in my movie. What, we're we going to fight over a swing? No, uh no, uh no, you're not that. No, uh I don't have time to, <laughs> it's time to sit there and argue about what you are. Yeah. I said, I said. So talking about like, uh, because you said something about the way people dress and everything, talking about it, do you, where do you get your style from? Because I know like you are, you dress different because sometimes you used to have a lot of shiny things in your face and everything. So I didn't know what happened. Like, man, like what is happening in his life? So what, what, where did you get idea from? Or just glittering oh. like in your face and then on your clothes. Well, you see, I know a lot about you, you know? <laughs> yeah, you do. You did, I'm surprised. Like, that's why you threw me on the like, oh, okay, you know? You know, uh, that's so, so congratulations on that. That's good. You're, you're yeah. a good interview. Um, so I put this, I, I'm the light. Uh, yeah. Glitter is shining. Uh, glitter is the light. Glitter is greatness. I'm greatness. See, when I have glitter on my face and glitter things to get your attention, because you're going to look right up top and they won't stop. I have people just stare at me. They just, they just stare at me. I look over there like, and I'm like, I walk over and I say, it's okay to stare when you have a question. I'll answer it for you. You, uh, that's insecure people blow up i'm not insecure so they they i put the glitter on my face because it was like at night i saw it glisten and i was like yo this is hard and then i, I put glitter on my car 
Well, my car, is, it's a, I have a 1999 Acura CL. Yeah. I put glitter in my car. And I spray paint glitter on my car. My car looks like, it just looks like glitter. It, just look, it looked like I, I rode through a factory, uh, arts and school, uh, arts and crafts uh, school. And I just, that's what look, my car looks like. It looks great. <laughs> I, I have glitter on me all the time. I don't have it on me right now because I got to do this interview. I just woke up, by the way. I oh. love you. I, oh, I, man. I, I said, <laughs> get up. <laughs> but, um, man, I'm telling you, man, I, I, you have to live life like a, you have to look, we, we grow up and we forget our childish side. We forget, child, we forget our childlike side. We get up and we grow up and we, 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 we start to become very, I'm an adult. I'm not playing in sand. Then when nobody's looking, hurry up, stick your toe in it. <laughs> and, you know, everybody's just putting on a facade of I'm the grownest, I'm the most responsible. Blah, blah. Everybody's still kids. They're just kids with smart responsibilities. That's all it is. Why do you think we have cars? They're toys. They're bigger toys than what we had when we were younger. When girls have the baby dolls, they have, they have babies now. They were prepping them. Everything just makes sense now to me. And I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. That, that's, that's that. The little kids, the, you ever see, I asked my sister, I'm like, why does she have a baby? Why is she 10 playing with a baby doll? Saying she wants yeah. a baby. It, it's psychologically <laughs> prepping the girl to be able to take care of a child. It's everything. All toys have a system. They have a, some kind of, it makes sense, right? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Right. So, so, that, so, that, so I'm like realizing that. So anyway, um, the glitter and stuff, definitely, because we got away from that. I just wanted to say, but uh, um, the glitter basically was me just stepping into being different. Do what you want to do. The purpose was I, I wore a wig one time. I'm sure you know about that, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. My, my, my family, everybody called me and said, what the hell is going on? Da, 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 da. Oh, they, they went crazy, man. They were like, yo. I'm like, what? They thought I was crazy. Um, I'm not crazy. Crazy is not fitting into normality. If you're not normal, you're crazy. If you're not controllable, you're crazy. If you have your own thoughts, you're crazy. But if you think like everybody else, then you're normal. You're, yeah. you're, you're, you're good. Think like everybody else, you're good. All right, go work in a factory. And then while, I, while I'm the 1% and you're questioning, why? Hey, can you hear me that doll over there? Why the hell am I just, the 1% gets everything. Hey, you clock me in. And I'm just, I'm tired of being the, I'm tired of the 1%. Hey, can you hear me that liquor over there and that beer? I got to party my worries away. And I'm just, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's I mean, what's going on. So what do you think about society today? It's terrible. It's plaque. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's very hard to be yourself. That's the thing. Today work. <laughs> Oh my, because everybody's on, it's, the internet has made things smaller, but it's still like big, but it's still small. It's like smaller. Everybody wants to be the newest, whoever's out or whatever, because they want to fit in because it's a, it's a thing in our brain that mirrors. We want to mirror what we see. We have to mirror, it's, for, it's a survival technique. So me, I'm teaching people. I'm like, I'm pushing like this. Oh, oh. Wake up, wake up. You're you. You are you. Be you. If you want to wear, you probably get arrested, but if you want to walk on the street naked, go ahead. <laughs> be who you are. Yeah. Be who you are. Stop. This is all. We're going to die one day. How people don't, they don't get it. We're going to die one day. Some I perform in a nursing home and a 90-year-old lady said, you know what I regret? I said, what? She said, not being myself, trying to impress other people. She was 90 years old in a nursing home. She, was, she had tears in her eyes, man. 90 years old, she's just now realizing, oh, this doesn't, this really, all this doesn't matter. It's a game. It's a play. All of us right now going to work, getting up, socializing, going, it's a play. We're all in a, we're all in a movie. We got, we got stuck yeah. in a play. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense. Every, I mean, everything that I go now, tell me about your music, actually, because what type of music do you, I mean, how do you write your music? What idea do you come from? Like, the journey when you write your music. You'll be okay. Wake up in the morning feeling um, like you can't go on. Every single day seems so long. Wrong seems right and right seems wrong. A hurt what doesn't kill you makes you strong. Um, that came from me going through something. I went through, I fell in love really hard because I didn't love myself. Yeah. And what happened is I was hurting really bad and I was telling myself, Dimitri, you'll be okay. Because when you go through your first heartbreak, geez, you... <laughs> dramatic looking out the window counting the raindrops and shit and it, you know it's like yo it's like it's like uh, excuse my language but it's like it's like it's like yo everything's gonna be okay in five years is this girl even gonna matter and if she does then you have held on to you have had a we grow up we, we grow up we look at we look at movies and we say oh that's how you're supposed to fall in love jane yes tony i've loved you since day one quick stop the like we, we we're like 
that's what we're taught. We're taught that. We look at them like, okay, that's love. That's not, that's somebody that's lying to you. They don't tell you the real stuff. What happens to the couple when the, when the movie goes off? So that's what happened to me. I thought it was supposed to be that. Bad. I showed up to the girl's house with flowers in my hand, told the guy, got in the van, told the guy, go that way. I felt like I was really in a movie. Go. They were like, man, I hope you get her, man. We were having a hope. I said, yo, I'm in a movie. I'm in a romantic comedy. I went to her house. Do do? She opened up the door. She said, why are you here? Huh. You're like, that the movie my- works. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said. He said what? No, I say in the movie it works. I bet you was like, oh, yeah, in the, yeah, like in the movie because it's scripted. They have to do the job, but they won't get paid. Yeah. So it's like we we. So I went. I went. You know. So that's what I learned. I'm like, oh, but you know, I'm not saying I didn't do my wrong too. We both did. We both. You know, it takes two to tango. I'm not saying I'm yeah. totally because a lot of people, you know, talk from I did my best. Meanwhile, they cheated. But that's another story. Um, but it's like I I, I got hurt really bad. So this is my result. Some guy said one time. Um. You know, are you? Uh, I had a pink jacket on. He's like, don't you feel like a, a clown? I had, a, I had my old facade. I had my old not facade. I had my old jewelry on and everything. And he was like, don't you feel like a clown? Cause I was getting too much attention. That was his. That was something coming out of him that he felt like, okay, you know, they, he felt he felt something. He felt like envious or something. Cause people will do that when they make fun of you or something like that. There's something about you they just feel like there's something against you. They have something. Something's wrong. Yeah. So um, when he when he did that, I was like, no, you know, I don't feel like a. Clown. He's like, you got your heart broken, didn't you? I started talking like this. He said, you got your heart broken. <laughs> I, I, I said, yeah, I did get my heart broken. Why is that such a, I mean, like, yeah, oh, he's got his heart broken? Don't listen to that guy. Uh, I would say that's experience. If I, that's experience. If you got your heart broken, that means I can, tell, I can learn you something because I've been down that road. If I got my leg broken, you got your leg broken before. I, I, could te- I mean, you haven't got your leg broken before. I could teach you something about that. I, I can tell you, yeah, that hurt really bad, and here's how to avoid that. <laughs> talking about legs, so, have you, yeah, talking about legs, have you ever hurt your, your legs while you're dancing? Because sometimes I feel bad for your shoes. You know, I'm like, I wonder how many shoes <laughs> do you actually wear? <laughs> oh, I go through a lot. The uh, bottom, you know, there's two the things. How, how many shoes do you actually have? Because the way you dance and how many white t-shirts do you have? <laughs> I have, okay. White t-shirts are finished. I got to go get some more, by the way. Oh, my God. Um, the, shoe, the shoes, gone. I have two pairs. They're holding on by the life of the great grace. One of them, just, I just talked to them last night. Um, the flaps coming off the thing like that. Um, it, 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 I, I, I go through a lot of shoes because I slide and I do a lot and yeah. I dance really hard. I'm really heavy footed. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm not. I'm not light footed. I'm not light on my feet. I'm heavy. If I dance and if you're downstairs in the basement, I'm up top practicing. You gonna hit. You gonna feel like there's thunder coming through your <laughs> your roof, hitting For your real. floor. Um, but yeah, but that's the power. That's the passion in it. So, but I um, think about. Yeah, about the music. I think you don't you don't talk too much about your music. I, I believe you oh, talk okay, more. Yeah. I know. I was about to get back to that. I'm sorry. So my music, you'll be okay. I went through a bad breakup. Um, Medicaid was a, I cut myself. I used to get medicated through liquor. You always drink and just be so you know just just want to party all the time. And that's people who party all the time. They want to have fun because they're sad in their real life. So they want to go out and have probably want to party and just be have fun because they work so hard in their real life. They feel like they deserve. Like I deserve this. I don't want to. You know, um, they're stuck. They feel stuck. Um, so I made Medicaid for that. I made ride for the people who don't, who just want to pick up a girl and just ride. We, if you hear, um, I want to take a ride with this honey. It's by my side. Let's go. We ain't really going no. Yeah, more. I love that song. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> when I discovered so, one of your songs online, when I, when I went to YouTube, I think it was this song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, there's something about this song. I, I just love it because it's, uh, it's very, it's simple. It's natural. It's just the dance and everything is the video. I like it. You know, I you think it was the song. It was in the barber shop and it come out and everything. Yeah. I really love that song. I remember I used to have that on replay for many days. So oh, thank you, man. just so you know, there's a lot of people they can't really, because I feel like when, when you, when you see somebody doing good, when somebody doing something good is, is always good to let them know like, you know what? whatever you're doing is doing good because sometimes when people do things, they don't, they don't get a response. They feel like they're not doing anything right or they're not touching anybody. But mm. sometimes it's very important to let people know even for free, just uh, let people know, like, you know what? I like it. You're doing good. Even if you don't have to talk to somebody, just let them know that that's how I feel. And that's how I feel like I tried. I mean, you, you know, like I always write coming to you, everything. I was like, it's important for me to actually let person know, like it's great and it's doing good. It's, it's different. <laughs> To know you're great, and when people say that you're great as well, it's a different type of feeling, because yeah, you know, is. like you are giving something that is actually touching people, and you feel good. Thank you, I thank you so much. I thank you for that. Yeah, yeah I, I appreciate and I appreciate you so much for that. Seriously, I love you so much for that. That really touched my heart, and and I, I I'm I'm yeah, I'm speechless, man. That made <laughs> that that really felt. You made my day. You made my day, man. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, that, I I didn't know my, if my music was being heard because I thought people just like me doing Michael Jackson. I was like, okay, no, no, well, no. It's not, it's not just about Michael Jackson because the thing is, when you go yeah. online, when you know the person, when you discover the person, everything is about Michael Jackson. And of course, you're gonna try to Google the person, trying to know who they are, and what they like. And that's what I did actually with you. I just went back to your song, and then there's actually a few songs that actually I thought like I like. I mean, there's that song. There's another song as well. Um, there is right. I like right as well, and. Mm -hmm. Wrong. I like wrong as well. This Shout song. out to my producer Greg. Uh, my producer Greg wrote some songs for me. He wrote Ride. He wrote Time. Um, he wrote. Uh, he wrote and produced. Um, and then shout out to my manager Vaughn. Uh, rest in peace. Yeah. I, I love him. I, I miss him. Um, but yeah, Greg. I uh, shout out to my producer Greg. And and, and, and then um, shout out to me. You got to be on your own team. You got to move. Yeah, yourself. you got to do. <laughs> Tell me about this song. What was it about? Uh, what's, oh. oh, okay. So. Yeah, I like that song. I love that. So, so, so what was so it about? Thank you. I had, I had, so the original one went like this. Tell me what I'm doing to wrong. And I was like, I said that to my, and it was like, dum, 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 gap, dum, gum, boom, gum, dum, gap, dum. And my, my a producer heard it and I said, I said, do that, but make it up to date. <laughs> it would sound like James, something James Brown would do. Yeah. So I said, I said, make it up to date. He said, all right. So he took it, he sped it up and then just wrote, I said, the, the thing is wrong. Because again, I was going through something. I was like, what am I doing wrong? Why don't, why, you know, so I thought about that. That's how the song came about. I sent it to him on a, on a little voice recorder and I sent it to him and he started, you know, he, it went off and he started, uh, working on it he sent it back and then uh it's a i feel like i'm in prison i feel like i've been locked away i don't know how long it's been i, I was like yeah. oh my god i was like it's a great Yo. song i love it yeah, I just, thank you man i like it it's like there's a lot of energy it's funky and then it's just it's just there i like i just like it the groove and everything is is a great song that's why i feel like you should I think you should, I mean, you should talk about your music as well more than you actually, I know you love talk about things to help people, but at the same time, you got to let people know like you got a music as well because the music is actually, the content, the music is really good. The energy is different. Mm -hmm. The words, the message, the lyrics, everything is different. So you got to, this is, this is, yeah. This is why I, this is why, sorry to cut you off. Um, yeah, go on. This is why I, um, this is why I, this is why I talk about and try to help people because for the music, yes, I, and I do. I do upload. If you look at my Instagram, and Facebook, through it, I do upload my music videos every now and then because that's showing. Hey, I do music, but I try to tell them, let them know. Hey, 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 look, you know, um, look at just. I I want to wake people up because if they if they find a personal connection with you, the music stuff will come. They'll definitely yeah. they'll 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 support you like crazy. But if you hit them with music, he'll be like, oh, this guy's trying to just sell me sell. on something. Uh, I'm 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 good. I try, that's why I'm doing this. Cause I'm trying to wake you up to their greatness to be like, okay, look, hey, you know, I'm, the music will come. I'm not worried about that. I want to make people feel like they can come. I'm home. I'm home. A lot of people are home and don't even feel like they're, it's home. Yeah. And I'm telling people, I'm home. I won't judge you. I won't tell you you did something wrong. I, I want anything. I, I, I'm here. To, you can talk to me, even you too. If you want to call me one day, like, I need to talk. I'll talk to you too. Everything is, everything is always, I'm telling you. Everything is always fine. Everything's always great. And that's, that's what I do. I wake people up to their greatness and tell people, tell people to love themselves. But music stuff will come. My music is, is, I mean, if they look at my name, they just Google my name on YouTube. If they want to find who I am, all my stuff pops up. My music, my, my skits, my, every, not even skits, my, my, my sermons. I my sermons. Skits is something that just to get attention. My sermons, my sermons that change people's lives. I had people who hit me up and said, thank you. I had the pills. I had pills next to me and liquor. And I saw what you said on, on Instagram. And I put them away. Thank you for saving my life. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't relate to that a lot of things, man. Like, because the word is quite powerful. Everything that you say, sometimes I'm like, man, this guy is too deep. I wonder why he's getting all those things. But it's a gift and you know how to use it. You know, like, as I say in life, you. you have to find your purpose. When you say your purpose, when, when you find your purpose, you know what you're here for. When you live for your Correct. purpose, you're just happy. Correct. You know? I'm here to save the world. And do yeah, I think, yeah. So... I saw you actually talking to, I mean, there is like a girl with you now. I can see like she started dancing with you on the street. I mean, recording you and do, doing a lot of, yeah. you know, things with you. Like what happened? Like, what is the story about it? So she, is she, she's right behind the camera right now. Say hi, Lee. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and I know I, I was guessing it was you behind the camera anyway. <laughs> yeah. 
So she So you so it wasn't forgotten. So she she her name is Lee. She uh yeah. her, her real name is Alicia. Yeah. She definitely um she definitely helped me out a lot. She believes in me and I believe in her. Um when you go out and you find somebody, you work hard with them and then you find you make them your best friend. You don't look for love. Love will come if it's necessary. If it will come if it comes, it comes. That really that is really true. Um so uh just you look for okay, how can she she was she wanted to build she took what I did and made it plus two. She gives me advice. She tells me, hey, you know, what, what's going, you know, lets me know, okay, when I'm out of loop, when I'm ever, sometimes I can be scattered. And she just takes me and organizes me sometimes. Like, okay, Dimitri, that's, that's good and all, but okay, let's worry about this real quick first. <laughs> so she really, she's, so we met through, um, to jump back to how we met. We met through some, some uh, situation that happened and um, something just, I don't know, something just happened where I just hit her up and said, hey, come, come, come over my house and let's hang out. And she just dropped everything and said, okay. And then huh. uh, went all, she doesn't talk like that, but um, I, I, always, I always use that voice for her. It's funny. I always I do that. So I, I don't know if it's, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I always <laughs> do the same thing. And when I talk to people, I was like, yeah. And he told me, it's like, the person's like, that's normal. I don't sound like, I'm like, yeah. But when I'm explaining, you have to know, like, this is somebody else's voice. Right. I have to, you know, <laughs> they're like, what? But why have to use that, that high voice? I was like, well, so you know the difference between me and the person actually I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah I get yeah. it. Right, yeah. that's that's funny. That's so funny. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> We're all connected. We're all one. That's yeah. Crazy. So, uh, but but yeah. So he. Uh, so we. Met, I met her, and um, we started. We she dropped it, then came here, and just we started. She believes in me, and that's all you need. That's how you break the matrix. Just find somebody who believes in you, and just go hard, and make sure I'm here. I, and I and I gave her purpose. You know, she she felt like she didn't really have. I mean, she had. She she could do everything. She's amazing. I mean, you just or, or if she doesn't know how to do it, she'll learn it really fast. She's very. Uh, she's awesome. But she, she, uh, she came to me and she didn't really have, she didn't feel like, okay, what, what the, f I mean, she's like, I'm just, she felt like she was just, she, everything's, when things come e easy to you, when yeah. things come easy to you, you just feel like you're just here. You're like, okay, this is boring. Life is boring. I need something. I need something exciting or something. So then she met me and then that gave her some kind of purpose. It was just like, okay, I can push something. I can get behind something that means something and move forward. She taught me love. She taught me um, the word love, love always wins. I said, no, well, okay, well, no, this, da, da, da. She always said, well, it goes back to love. I said, okay, Lee, that's fine. But da, da. She's like, that's, well, that resorts back to love. And I said, yo, that's real. That is true. Everything always, love always wins. Success, I got this from her. I'm going to steal a quote real quick. She said, success will end and failure will end. Love is always. So why would I want both of those when I can just have love that lasts forever? When I tell you my eyes and my ears almost melted, she was preaching. That's real. Success can end and failure can end, but love is forever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course, man. That, that, that's, that's deep. So how long you guys been, like, working together? I know you guys are together, but how long you guys been, like, okay, like, how long you guys been together? Well, we've been, well, well we aren't, we, we're just friends. Well, we're friends, sorry. Friends. I mean, I mean, like, you're done. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Um, we've been around each other for about, it's almost going on six months, isn't it? Six months. six months six months and if we down the road if we end up you know uh uh getting married or doing something like that, having kids that's cool too but right yeah. now we just focus on our goal and if we don't that's cool too we just know we have a goal and if it happens it happens it doesn't it doesn't yeah if, but that's a know, good just, thing because when i think about what happened because you just lost your manager and the fact you have somebody actually working with you right now as well i think it kind of yeah. happened in the right time as well because it's like it did you know it the energy did, is yeah. good you have like somebody can actually you know, talk to and do things again in terms of like, you know, your show and everything. That's such yeah. a good thing. That's a blessing as well at the same time. Just see things that way because things happen for a reason. You have people that come in your life for the same time for a reason. Yeah. No, yeah, she, 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 she's definitely my rock. When I forget, sometimes being this, uh, and, and, and that guy that, that lost himself, he needs to find somebody who's on his team because I definitely, I've been lost like him before. And, and I, she, Lee has been here to be like, uh, Dimitri, do you remember who you are? You need somebody to remind you of who you are. That's why people, that's why people have kids, because they feel like they need purpose. And when they find that purpose, and the kid reminds them of what they have to do and who they are. Because if they don't have kids, they feel like, okay, what am I doing? I feel lost. Well, let me have a kid and see what happens, so I can go harder for the kid. That's that's all that happens. So she uh, she's like, you know, uh, when Prince said, "I want to be a, a mother. I want to be a uh, no. I want to be a lover. I want to be a mother and your sister too." You know, remember that song? Yeah, I know that song. Yeah, Prince. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I would be a, uh, your father, your mother, and your sister too. I was like, what? When I first heard that, I'm like, Prince was deep though. That's deep. Your mother and your sister too. Like, she's like my friend, my best friend, my friend. 
my girl, my my daughter, my my my. my it, it's like she's all. It's like all that wrapped in one. It's a deep connection. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So that that's that's what I. That's what it is. It's it's something that's deep. So that's why I understand where Prince was coming from. I'm understanding these artists where they come from when they write their music. But um, yeah. So that's how we we just met. We met off the strength of I don't know how. We, honestly, I don't know how we even got here. So how do you feel now? Happy. Oh, that's good. How do you look? <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting. <laughs> how do you look yeah, right I... now? Huh? How do you look right now? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> oh, you like, look no, good. Look, God feel... damn it! God, God damn it! Consecutive. That's every day. Every day. But you do too, though. You oh, do yeah, too. Oh yeah. Before we wrap it up, just tell me, like, if what do you want to tell people, like? Express yourself. That's that's your time, man. What do you want to tell my audience? Real quick. Yeah. I have a shirt. It says, "When you look this good on the on the front." Now people will see this and say, "Who does this person think they are?" So when they look back to devil hate, I say devil hate because that's what people do. They look back and they, they don't. They, they look back. Look back is devil hate. When they look at you and they look back, like, mm. and it, when they look back, the face looked and it says, "God damn it!" I said what I said. And go, what? So you, this shirt is available. It is thirty-five dollars, eight dollars uh, plus shipping is eight dollars, and it's definitely worth it. It's worth it because the greatest of all, t it's my T-shirt. I'll get one, man. I'll get, I'll get one for support, man. I'll get one myself. Uh, so I appreciate. I know it's from. Uh, I don't know. Do you guys ship in the UK? I don't even know. If I if I don't ship in the UK, what I can do? I can just get it, and you can't offer it to somebody else. It, it, oh well, I appreciate that. We'll 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 make it happen. We'll make yeah. it happen. I love yeah, you, man. man. Definitely. We would sit, I mean, we're going right now. We have sold a lot of t shirts. We have sold a lot. Like, people are really like buying. They really like, I like that. They like, they're really into that message. They're like, yo, they love that message. Everybody's looking for a message. I tell you this this is a message to you and open your mind. I suggest this to you. Look in the mirror and love yourself. Nobody's going to love you. The person you are looking for is right in front, right in the mirror every day. Every day. So that's what you need to do. Thank you, man. Like, thank and, you. And, and, and yeah. real quick, though. Lee, yeah. what did you say? Yeah, go on. No, no, it's all you, man. Go on. What did you say? Oh, yeah. And also, 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 I am recruiting. What yes. does that mean? That means recruiting means I am opening my doors to lost souls. Lost souls? What does that mean? Lost souls mean people who need a purpose, who don't know what to do with their life, or, or don't know what, what the, they're just, they feel lost. I'm here. Hit me up. I, I, I'll be your purpose. Because most people don't feel like they don't have purpose. Don't. If you have a kid, it's going to be expensive. I'm not expensive. <laughs> 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 because, but, but anyway, I love you. Um, my door's always open. My phone's always open. Uh, if you need anybody to talk to, hit me up. I love you so much. I love you too, man. Thank you so much. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I, I thank you for this experience. This has been a great experience. I'm happy. Yeah, so for anybody listening to this, if you guys want to get in touch with Dimitri Drips, um, you make, I make sure I'm going to put all the links if you guys want to buy his t-shirt, if you want to support, like everything to get in touch with him, I'm going to put on the description. You guys are going to have all the details there. So make sure you hit me up as well with all the details, whatever you guys want to do. And there's something that you put on your Facebook as well, save something, something about money or whatever. I didn't read it that much. So can we talk about it? I saw about, I think, oh, oh, money! Uh, if you want, if you want to donate money, yes, uh, we're going. On, we're, we're, what we're doing is we're getting money to go all over the world. We're gonna get a truck. All the money is going to equipment, um, food, places to stay while we're going to each spot and going to people personally and doing shows. Now nobody's doing a show, so everybody's yeah. stuck at home and everybody's bored. So I was gonna go all around the world. Uh, well, right now the United States and then the world's coming but go around the united states and just go to different parts and just spread joy love and my message of just loving yourself so people can find light in this dark time mm, that that crawled up on me that, right. that's that's what i wanted to say and real quick i said what i say do and what i do <laughs> that's goddamn thanks to sliced bread and you are too i make the girls go oh thank you man thank you for having you today i really appreciate brother like i really appreciate and thank you for for stopping and you know like yeah thank you for everything i really wanted to have you today because my podcast name is better yourself so it's all about 
trying to find a better version of yourself and you are the right person to have tonight. So Thank you. I really appreciate Thank you so it. Much. And I, I mean, I just send a lot of love to your friend as well. The one who's working with you right now, just want to say hi and then all my support and everything. I'm watching you guys from far, bro. Whatever you guys do, I'm always going to share the links as much as I can. So, you know. Thank you. Thank you.